Well, um, as we said, now there'll be a special 90-minute uh, presentation of um, Mary Tyler Moore's 20th anniversary over on uh, CBS. It's going to reunite her with that great cast of... Uh, Maybe the greatest cast ever. I would think oh. so. Every one of those people went Brilliant. on to star in their own series. Yeah. So you know what a bunch of pros they were. But in any event, she uh, is, I guess, one of television's most beloved uh, personalities. Here's Mary Tyler Moore. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. 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 Mary's here. So good to see yeah, you. Yeah, Mary. Tyler Moore is here. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. Well, a happy anniversary. 20 well, years. Yeah. Huh? Oh, I couldn't believe God. it was 20 years. You yeah. couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Did they have to remind you, say, you know, Mary, it's 20 years now. What do you want to do pretty about much. it? Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Well, CBS came to us and said that um, it is 20 years, and wouldn't we like to do a retrospective? And that's something I'd always been afraid of, because the show and the memory of it was so pure and so, so mm -hmm. good. And I didn't want to run the risk of doing anything that would make it look mm -hmm. less than what it was. Yes. But, we were blessed with uh, Jack Haley, uh, Jack Haley Jr. as our producer, and I think he did an extraordinarily good job of picking out some of the best moments out of those seven years. I saw some of the moments, and I must tell you, they're just oh. absolutely terrific, Aren't and it they? still yeah. holds up, and it's still better than anything else you see these days. This whole weekend Thanks. has been so wonderful yeah. watching yeah. all Have the Have you been watching shows? the other shows? I saw the All in the Family one. Yeah. You and, blubbered, uh, too. Oh, gosh, yes, <laughs> really, really. And I miss Sullivan, but I have that on tape, so I'll see that oh, sometime so during funny. the week. Oh, it's so funny. Everybody comes on and they give their memories of Sullivan, and I really enjoyed Alan King. You know, Ed had trouble with all the names. Yeah. Sergio Frankie came. Oh, Did you catch please. that one? Yes. It was so funny. Oh, and Sergio Frankie, he went through everything, <laughs> and then finally he said, let's hear it for the Ave Maria. You know, he, he, whatever uh, Sergio was singing. <laughs> <laughs> Alan King told that story. Oh, and those days are gone, aren't They're gone. They? I mean, except for you two. You're still alive. Well, we're but, still uh, around uh, hanging yeah. on there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but you know, uh, live television though is, is still so exciting. It is. Well, you did yours not live, but mm. in front of a live audience. Well, we had an audience, audience like yours. We had um, maybe a few more, three hundred uh, people, and we would go from beginning to end, and um, we would sometimes make mistakes, but we could go back and correct yeah. them, yeah. which you can't do here. <laughs> you were the sure. first one hired, Mary, and then came the supporting cast. Yeah, that's well, how it started. Well, they had this show that they wanted to do called the Mary Tyler Moore Show. And they came to me and said, would you like to be Mary Tyler Moore? Isn't that amazing? <laughs> That's how it so works. So I was the first, yes. <laughs> was it produced by Mary Tyler Moore Enterprises also? Yeah, it was. Sure. Yeah. When CBS, um, it, it goes back to Dick Van Dyke having had me on as his guest star on a, a special called Dick Van Dyke and the Other Woman. Thank you very much. <laughs> And CBS thought that it had been very successful, so they asked if I'd like to do my own series, and I said, mm. uh, yeah, okay, <laughs> we'll give it a try. Now, is it true that CBS was very concerned about your character because you were a divorced woman? Originally, the Originally, original concept, yes. but then they changed it. And yes, and the reason they changed it, among other things, was that they said, well, everyone will think that she's divorced from Dick Van Dyke. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. And that, right. Would, not and that would hurt her. <laughs> That's right. But because the stigma just shows you. Like that. The stigma of divorce at yeah. that time as opposed to now. Well, now you can't get a serious unless you are divorced. Yeah. You know I mean? Unless true. you've been in the Betty Ford Clinic. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, that too. <true. laughs> but what was interesting, what CBS found acceptable uh, was that I had not been married and then divorced from this alleged person, but that I had lived with him for four years and was now separated <gasps> from him. Well, so that's that was even worse. Right. So now, <laughs> yeah. now that I made, don't know. made you cleanse. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's take a look now at the very first episode. This is the first episode where you're going to apply for the job, well, right? Well, I don't know. I'll look at it and I'll tell you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I, I love this one. Uh, Ed Asner interviewing you. Now, just listen oh, to yeah. the writing, how crisp, how yeah. edited it is. A line here, a word there, and screams after and every one of And brilliant acting. <laughs> Terrific that acting. That helps, too. All right, here's Ed Asner and Mary Tyler Moore. Look, miss, I was just about to have a drink and I wouldn't mind some company. Want one? Oh, no, thank you. I said I wouldn't mind some company. Well, all right, I'll, I'll have a Brandy Alexander. <laughs> How about some coffee? That'd be fine. Uh, has the job been filled? Yeah. Oh. But there is another job. Oh? I figured I'd hire a man for it. Oh. <laughs> we can talk about it. Well, good. How old are you? Thirty. No hedging. No high.
How old do I look? Uh, why, Hedge? Yeah. How old do I look? <laughs> <laughs> you look better now, Mary. Oh, okay. You really do. I must tell you, everybody on the Sullivan Show looked better today than they did 20 years ago. Carol and, Burnett? And I must say, you do too, Mary. Yeah, well, yeah. what happens is as you get older, your eyesight fails you. <laughs> so it kind of does. Uh, it's like a nice Vaseline. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to pause, Mary, and come back and show you some more clips in just a moment. <laughs> All right. Talking with Mary Tyler Moore about her special on uh, CBS tonight. They're going to replay some of the great clips and some, from some of the great Mary Tyler Moore shows. Here's that wonderful cast again. Here they are all together. And as I said, all of them went on to star in their own series, their own shows, and so on. Now, Had to be so tough mm, doing this without Ted, though. Now, originally, um, Gavin McLeod came in and auditioned for the Lou Grant position. Yeah. Right? And then yeah. decided he didn't want that. He wanted to be the writer. Right. And, and Ed apparently had a disastrous first audition for the show, and but the producers thought they he brought him back. Brought and, him back, uh, and he was great. Yeah, he had. Um, it's interesting. Ed started uh, in this series the way I had started on the Dick Van Dyke show. When I went on that show, I had done no comedy. I had done. I was a singer and a dancer, but I had never really gotten out there and done. Uh, funny stuff. Um, I was a dramatic actress, and I was allowed to grow on that show, as uh, you know, I'm sure mm -hmm. you, you saw. Um, and the same is true of Ed Asner. He was a dramatic, dramatic. actor, had never done comedy, but it was in there. You yeah. know, it was just waiting to come out. <laughs> and Everybody be says it's far more difficult to do comedy. Than I drama. think it is. Mm. I think it is. Then, of course, Ted Knight joined you. Yeah. And he was yeah. uh, the what the anchor man that they were he all. He was the anchor man, and they had uh, they'd originally thought of doing a very young and handsome. And maybe there'd be a romantic and... thing between you and him, yeah, maybe. Yeah, and... yeah, but it's but so much Ted funnier this and way. Was, ah, oh, yeah. What a character. Because every is. local television station has one of them. That's right. Don't That's they? right. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah. And some of the she networks. She said that, guys, not me. <laughs> I'm but, not naming names, but there's one. But it one was a there. funny character. It's yeah. so real. Yeah. And yet had some wonderful stuff on there. The night yeah. Johnny Carson came yes. to your apartment, to your party, and the lights went and out. The lights went and out. he walks in. <laughs> Total darkness, and everybody's waiting to see Johnny Carson, but the lights go out. You don't see him, but you hear that voice say, nice place you have here. Oh, and with such timing, such timing. The funny thing about that was our prop men were all so scared. They said, well, you know, he uses prop uh, cue cards all the time, so we better, but what will we do? There are no lights, so how can they see? The pr so, so they did it in glow um, in, 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 in one oh, of those ultraviolet oh, yeah, things. Yeah. <laughs> glow in the dark. So, and, but he was so incensed. He said, oh, come on. He had memorized all his oh, lines. It was more than one yeah. line, yeah. And then there was the time that Walter Cronkite came to the oh. newsroom, and of course, Ted oh, Knight, please. Ted oh, Baxter please. was being Beside himself. We all were. Oh, sure. Let me tell you, right. we all Let's were. take a look now at Walter Cronkite meeting Ted Baxter. Ted Baxter, Walter Cronkite. It's an honor to meet you, Mr. Cronkite. Call me Walter. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Walt, uh, you, let's talk shop. Say, uh, what, uh, what words do you have trouble pronouncing? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. Mary, it had to be a bittersweet experience for you to oh, do this. Yeah. I think I read somewhere that it took you three days after you taped it just to get centered To get the, again. the ache to go away. Yeah. Sure. It, um, it, it, it's unlike any other situation that you have in your life. It's, it's certainly more meaningful than a high school or a college reunion. Um, it's, a, it's a little like a, like a family reunion, except that these people are so close to you, you can't imagine that so many years would go by that you wouldn't see each other again. Yeah. Um, and mostly we have one or two together and, and sometimes as a group been together at my marriage and when the Juvenile Diabetes Foundation gave me an honor recently. So we have seen each other, but not enough, yeah. mm -hmm. you know. Mm. And then sitting around together as a group watching these clips, uh, that was really something. Oh, it's boy. 
Oh, my God. Fountains. So you should get out the Kleenex again for tonight, right? Yeah, it's gonna well, be one for of just the end part of it. Uh, Did you, do you have a favorite episode of all the shows, or is there one that sticks in your mind? Oh, gosh. Uh, well, probably my favorite, and it's everybody's favorite, is Chuckles Bites the Dust. Oh, sure. That's yeah. what Chuckles... said that was the most watched episode. I right? guess so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chuckles the Clown was in a parade. He was dressed as a peanut and was shelled <laughs> by a rogue elephant. <laughs> it was not pretty. No. We have another clip to show you, though. Now, you know, poor Betty White, she was always trying to make a date with Luke. Oh, and yeah. He just couldn't oh, take yeah. it. There was a little office injury going on there. And finally... She, she... was such a tramp. <laughs> yeah, right. And still is. <laughs> but she finally got you to ask Ed for a date on her yeah. behalf, right? Yep. And here's that scene. <laughs> Betty White, Ed Asner, and Mary Tyler. Well, you see, I have this friend. And, well, she has sort of a crush on you. <laughs> <laughs> this friend wondered if uh, you're not doing anything on you know, Saturday night, <laughs> if you would like to have dinner at her place. <laughs> her place, huh? <laughs> well, Mary, as it happens, I'm not doing a thing Saturday night, so you can tell your friend I'd be delighted. It's a date. Okay. <laughs> Only, uh, why didn't your friend speak for herself? Oh, I don't know, Lou. I guess I was too shy. That's going to be funny stuff tonight. 9.30 to 11 o'clock following Murphy Brown. Now, right. is Murphy Brown the 1990s Mary Tyler Moore show in the newsroom? And I don't know. Tonight we'll find out which one is the Memorex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Mary, incidentally, tell us a little bit about juvenile diabetes. Now, I know you're very involved in that whole yeah, uh, campaign. Yeah, yeah. And almost. we're in the midst of a, a, a campaign for this decade to eradicate diabetes. Uh, we have a camp capital campaign fund going of a uh, hundred million dollars that we need to get by the end of this decade, mm -hmm. and we're we're on our way. Some people think it only applies to juveniles because of the phrase. It's called juvenile, juvenile diabetes. diabetes. It is, it's going to be more and more now referred to as type one diabetes, which means you're insulin dependent, mm -hmm. and type two, which is the kind that you get in old age or mm -hmm. with obesity. So it really so has nothing to do with the with age. your age. No, I was in my twenties when I was diagnosed with juvenile diabetes. Mm. But um, it's it's not a, a good thing to have, and and we're about the business of eradicating it. Good for so, you. Yeah. All right, Mary Tyler Moore, we'll see you tonight. All right, okay. thanks. Thank you. Thank thanks thank you. so much. So much to see you. a pleasure. Thanks. We'll be back with our space camp. Oh, no. Next for the moment, yes. <laughs> Mary Tyler Moore. Tomorrow on Live, Morgan Fairchild.